celebration with its governor having his This what happened when I think about you. I get in my feelings, yeah. I start reminiscing, yeah. It's time to crown. I want it to be different, yeah. Waiting on the side, guess it's time for a different prayer. Lord, please save us for me. Do this one favor for me. To change my way of ways, got way too complicated for me. I hope she's waiting for me. Everywhere she goes, the way I'm on this watch, I'm gonna change that way. I know you can't ignore me. The sun's so blue. So give me all that you can change for me. Just give me all that you can change for me. For me, break it down. Hey Battle Bays, welcome back to another vlog. It's me, Andrea, and today is Saturday. It is Saturday and it's going on noon. So it's going on 12 o'clock. Y'all, I've been up since like 5.30ish. And I was laying up for a few hours afterwards just trying to get back to sleep because I was, uh, I was so tired. I was dead tired. But um, now I'm up watching TV. I literally just finished cleaning the entire kitchen because it was absolutely disgusting because as you know i am still unpacking my household goods got here i'm still unpacking yada 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 all that <laughs> that commercial stuck in my head but um yeah today i honestly wanted to do something i don't know what i just don't want to spend another day or weekend just honestly sitting in the house wasting away rotting away because it's on that's that's what i've been doing depression is taking me by the neck and it's getting wussa but i literally woke up this morning and i just felt like shit i'm gonna be honest i tried to get back to sleep but i couldn't and so i ended up getting up scrolling on my phone a little bit and then i'm looking around and i'm like it is a mess in here i should be ashamed of myself it was disgusting and so i got up and I cleaned and so it's nice and refreshed and clean. Let me show y'all what I've gotten. Oh my God, I'm so, <laughs> I'm so hungry and lightheaded y'all. Oh my God, I didn't eat yet this morning either. I didn't eat yet today and I haven't even had water or anything. I think I had two pieces of candy. I found some gushers that I guess I didn't finish eating last night and I ate two gushers, but look at this. This is what I've gotten so far. I actually have pictures and stuff for the wall. I'm not sure if I want to put those up yet, but got the TV, couch and stuff. This is just some trash that I have to take out. And I just fed Sam, so she's probably nice and full now. Sam! Sam! <laughs> Was it so good? Yeah. I had like all of this was covered in dishes and trash and food and nonsense and now it's nice and clean and refreshed and I'm honestly feeling way better like looking at this environment. I set my flowers outside so they can get some sunlight and look at this one. This one already opened a little bit more and now this one's finally starting to open. This one, not not yet. Not, not yet. But um... Oh my gosh. Yeah. Ugh. But I won't lie. I'm just so lightheaded. Like, I'm so weak. And I'm so lightheaded. And I don't be wanting to do anything because as soon as I stand up, my world is spinning for like a good 20, 30 seconds. So, yeah, that's what I've gotten myself into. This is, this is um, my life for right now until I get better. Anyway. I, one second. <laughs> oh, my
as I was saying, y'all, I'm so serious. I'm lightheaded. You don't have to worry. This is something that I just periodically go through. It's um, it's one of those things. If you if you've ever dealt with the eating disorder or disordered eating, whatever you want to call it, or just not eating for an extended period of time for whatever reason, whether or not that's depression or just other things, you know how you feel when you stand up in your world is spinning. You're just super weak and you're just super lightheaded because you probably need some nutrition and you're dehydrated. That's me right now. But right now I'm standing in the other smaller living room and this is still what I have to go through. Like there's still so much to go through. There's so much to do. But I'm actually excited for it because of the way the living room's turning out. So I'm not so much concerned about this part. But anyway, anyway, anyway. What I wanted to do today. I have cleaned. I'm up. I'm trying to be productive. And so I wanted to go and finally get my nails done today because they honestly... I don't even know if you can see that. Is it going to focus? There we go. See, look. Those look horrible. Like, they're so overgrown. I don't even know what happened to the shape, y'all. These used to be like a straight up square shape and now they're kind of like <laughs> rounded and they just don't look good at all. Um, my toes is, don't look, don't talk about my crusty feet because I know they're a little dry, but look, my toes are even outgrown and I'm just like, yeah, it's time to do something about that. And don't get me started on my lashes, y'all. I still have on mascara from yesterday. I didn't... I still got on mascara from yesterday. Because, y'all, my freaking... I picked off all my lashes. And honestly, I completely damaged my natural lashes. Which is fine because I've decided that I do like getting my lashes done. Oh, I got an eye booger. I've decided that I do like getting my lashes done. But look at that like i didn't have look how thin those are so um i'm gonna go somewhere else though because honestly i don't even think it was more so me picking them off because they just needed to come off i feel like the glue that was on there like i was i had a classic set it was supposed to have been a classic set but it's like when i first got them done i didn't like them anyway and then i'm like all right whatever i'll let them um I'll go in and get a full a new a whole new full set from a completely different place and um yeah they were like oh no you don't need a a refill or whatever and I'm like okay so they're not gonna give me a refill cool so I just walked around with like these lashes looking like spider legs on my eyes and I just really didn't like it um and the glue that was on there it was supposed to have been like an individual lash for an individual lash but it was like six clusters of lashes like a really thick strand of lashes on one of my lashes with a big thick piece of glue so every time like I would blink my lashes were getting stuck to my bottom lash you know you can feel like the glue even when you touch it um and what else it was like um like hairs and it was white stuff that was stuck in there like the I guess the glue had dried white and so I really wasn't even able to get it out. So it was just a mess anyway. It was just a mess anyway. So I took those off. And I'm trying to let my lashes recover. But I'm honestly wanting to... Um, I'm wanting to get my lashes done again. Because I like I just like the way it looks. Especially with the fact that I don't really wear... Bleh, I don't really wear makeup like that. I want them done. But I am starving because I have not eaten yet. But I'm about to go ahead and get dressed because if I don't, even if I don't get my lashes done today, I do want to go and get my nails and my toes done. So I'm about to go ahead and get dressed so I can do that. And then I want to go buy, I want to go on post and check to see, there's a store that, um, there's a store that I want to go to. It, I got the furniture. It's like a very discounted store that's in there. I can't remember what it's called. But I want to go in there just to look around a little bit more to see if they have anything else in there that I could use in the house. Because when I say that stuff was cheap, it was cheap, okay? It was cheap. I got my trash can, an $80 trash can for $40. That picture in there that would go for like a good $90. I got that for about $12, maybe $15. And then some. So um, I'm about to go ahead and get dressed so I can head out. And I think I'm going to go ahead and stop at Starbucks too because I'm just so hungry. But I don't feel like cooking. I know. I know if I cook right now, I'm going to overcook 
with the intentions of purposely overeating because for some reason that's just what I do as of right now. Um, and I'm not trying to go down that rabbit hole. I'm not trying to go into that cycle. So I'm about to go ahead and go so I can enjoy my day. I might find another activity to do later on. I don't know, but this is a good start. I'm about to go outside. I'm now upstairs in my room and this is gonna be the next area I attempt to tackle. Oh, sheesh. The next area I attempt to tackle because I'm just, you know, that's a suitcase. You can't tell because all the clothes and stuff are pulled out, but that's a suitcase. And then I just have everything else just laying around here, like my um, skincare, clothes, shoes, stuff that I still need to throw away, some trash and stuff that's over here. So, I mean, I kind of just came and dumped everything in here because I'm in the process of unpacking. I've already unpacked all of my perfumes and stuff. So this is all of the perfumes that I have. Yeah, I feel like I mentioned in one of the other videos that I ended up, um, so I bought this, I guess, a while ago, but I thought this was the pink one because I wanted the pink one as well. So um, because I thought that I already had the pink one, I went and picked this one up and I'm like, okay, good, now I have both. Only for me to unpack and realize I, now, now, now this situation here. So I still need to buy the pink one. I didn't find it just yet, which is crazy because any other time I went to the PX, I was able to find it and for whatever reason, they don't have it. Um, I think that is, there's other ones that I wanna get on my list quite a few actually but yeah this is what I've got and I think this is the newest one this is is this my most recent buy no I actually think it was this one because I had to refill my Marc Jacobs intense my perfect intense because that's one of my favorites and then I honestly want the full sizes of all of these because I love these I love buying these cute little sample kits just to kind of see what it is that I like so yeah, actually there was one that I didn't want. I think it was, it was probably this one cause I marked it. But I think the other ones I did want. But yeah, that is this room upstairs. Oh, but yeah, that's this room up here. I'm about to go ahead and get dressed. I'm trying to figure out what I want to wear and I'm looking at my hair right now and I do not feel like doing it. So I feel like it'll be beneficial to put on something I can wear a hat with. Cause I don't feel like doing my hair. I still gotta wash my face, I still gotta brush my teeth. I ain't do nothing this morning. I really do need to get my life together. But I'm thinking, y'all let me, let me see. Let me see what I'm about to put on. It's not that I don't want you here. Something about the way you said I know that I don't make things clear. I fall for you every time I try to resist you. We can get away. Palm trees, beach views, or the never day. All I wanna hear is in the visions I replay. Sit right next to you. You. I try not to show how I feel about you.
the air on before I leave. Why did I leave this light on? Oh my God, I'm so tired. So in here, there's a thermostat upstairs and there's a thermostat, it's so dark. <laughs> there's a thermostat upstairs and a thermostat downstairs. The thing is they can, upstairs can be a different temperature from downstairs, but the thermostat have to be on the same um, mode, I guess. But yeah, I just finished getting dressed. And my eye is so itchy. I just finished getting dressed. I decided to throw on this long black dress from the Naked Wardrobe brand. If you're on like Instagram or something, you, you've you seen anything Naked Wardrobe, I'm pretty sure. But whew, I got this from Nordstrom when I was out in Texas because they have the Naked Wardrobe, shit. They have the Naked Wardrobe brand um, in Nordstrom now. So I like this dress. It is really flattering. Let me see if I can show y'all real quick. This might be a better, spots i'm trying to show y'all this dress but um this dress is very flattering like i love it like look at this i'm pretty sure y'all seen pictures of this i have pictures i'll post a picture but um i'll post the pictures of this because i like wearing this dress for trey as well as the brown one that i have but um it's flattering and it's like double lines on the main part of the dress so that's why it kind of pulls you in and it really snatches you in but the arms aren't double lined so you don't have any issues there like i don't have any restriction the only thing that i don't like is the legs like the bottom part of the dress so let me show y'all real quick so i actually cut these slits here in this dress because the dress comes together without any slits at all the thing is it's double lined all the way down here as well. So when you're walking, it was literally like, you can't even like move your legs. And it got so frustrating. So I ended up cutting these slits, but I'm thinking I'm about to go ahead and cut them a little bit higher because they're, it's still really restrictive. So like, I was telling myself, I see the Kardashians walking around and stuff like this all the time. And I don't see how they do it because me, I was like duck walking in the dress and it just don't work out i didn't cut the brown one yet but i'm still gonna cut the brown one because no hold on y'all see that's so much better like <laughs> i'm not looking crazy like trying to take little baby steps when i'm walking when i will wear this dress and y'all know trey we like to well, he likes to hold my hands, I'm just playing. We like to hold hands when we're walking and stuff, especially when we're like just on the street walking, I'll be holding his hand and he's taking these giant steps and I'm here with these little baby steps like this because I couldn't walk in a dress. But yeah, I just cut it a little bit higher on both sides. And I wish I had a sewing machine because honestly, I would just hem this back together just to make it look like it came that way, but whatever, I don't really care. It's not that deep to me. So yeah, let me go ahead and get out of here. Y'all, I did want to talk to y'all just for a little bit because y'all know I be ranting. But um, yeah, I wanted to kind of talk about how I've been doing, where I'm at, and where I feel like I'm going because first of all, I'm doing fine. I'm doing better. Yes, I'm still dealing with a whole bunch, a whole host of mental issues right now like my mental health is at an all-time low and yeah that is very hard to deal with so my PTSD with the anxiety and the depression and stuff that kind of comes along with that completely out of control um what is it my um eating disorder obviously I pretty much talked to y'all about that just a little bit especially on my other socials completely out of control let me grab my ring real quick Completely out of control, y'all. I love this ring. Like, I love this thing. Look at it. Look at that. And I finally got my um, band soldered to the engagement ring. They finally got the, um, the inscription right because I ended up turning it in to get everything resized because I had to go down to a five. And yeah, they got the inscription wrong, but now it's perfect. Look at it. Oh my goodness. I love that. Anyway, 
So um, yeah, my mental health has not been good at all. And I'm actually in the process of just trying to get out of the military. I have a lot of people asking me, is that what I want to do? And I'm, truthfully, no. No, this is one of the hardest decisions that I ever had to make. And it's not something that I made overnight. It was actually about a year in the making of like going back and forth. Actually, so the last few years, I've been in tug of war with myself on whether or not I wanted to get out. The last year or so, it was like going really going back and forth and trying to figure out what I can do to make me feel better about staying in. Um, trying to, you know, going back and forth to therapy and stuff like that, trying to fix my mental health because I feel like that's a big part of it. But all in all, it kind of came down to the fact that if I want to be on this earth for the long term, I have to get out. It's just not conducive anymore for my mental health because I just feel like when it comes to being in the military, again, it's a machine. It's a machine. You have to be able to run. You have to be able to contribute. And as of right now, I don't feel like I can contribute. I'm learning a lot and I'm benefiting, yeah, but I don't feel like I can contribute. And at some point they're gonna be like, all right, you gotta go. It's either they gonna be like, you gotta go, or I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna go ahead and head on out of here. Because if my mental health don't take me out, I'm gonna take myself out, or this damn eating disorder gonna take me out. One of the two is gonna happen. And when it comes to being in the military, you have to compartmentalize a lot of things. And a lot of times myself, I go on a back burner. My mental health and the things that I go through, it goes on a back burner. Kind of like right now, I'm kind of slipping back into that mindset, like, you know what, I really don't even care. I don't care what happens to me. My family needs me right now. My daughter needs me right now. My son needs me right now. My husband, like, I don't care. On top of that, you don't really get the time to heal from certain things. Like, I'm pretty sure if I blew my leg off or if I, like, you know, got blown up or something like that, I would be able to go to these little specialized things that like the SRU, um, soldier recovery and stuff like that. I will be able to go to those things and actually focus and pay attention to going to my appointments and actually, you know, he healing and stuff like that. But I'm under the assumption because my injuries are invisible, that's just not something I can do. So of course, you know, I still have to be in a mindset, like I have to get up early in the morning so I can go to work. I don't have time to be going back and forth to therapy, talking about this stuff, unboxing and unleashing and kind of like unlocking all of these memories that's gonna distract me when I have to be focused on the main priority. And that is me trying to get back to work right now. So with that being said, I feel like me being out of the military is the most beneficial thing for me because one thing that I just haven't been able to do is just be, it's just be. That's the best way to put it. For example, I'm pretty sure we all been through a phase where you just don't want to do anything. Like I can't get up right now. I can't clean right now. I can't go upstairs and take a shot. Like I don't want to right now because I can't. Like a part of self care, is sometimes being able to be in those feelings. Not all the time, don't give in to those type of feelings and the way your body feels all the time, but sometimes you just need to be like, all right, my body's telling me something, I just need to be. And with the military, you can't do that. So when I'm working Monday through Friday and I can't call off or I can't just leave or I can't just not show up because I'm gonna go to jail or somebody gonna come knock on my door looking for me, I, I have to get up and go. I have to ignore what my body is telling me. I have to ignore what it is that I'm actually mentally craving right now and do what I need to do. But I feel like if I wasn't in the military, if I do have those feelings, I can just chill and be with myself and be with my feelings if I want to. I don't have that privilege and that 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 the luxury of doing that right now being in the military. Again, I feel like if my treatment was handled in a different way I probably would be able to but as of right now I feel like the way things are going I don't stand a chance staying in basically so with that being said I am in the process of trying to get out I haven't figured it out just yet um there was one point my provider was talking about just sending me up for a medical review that since been taken off of the table because they want me to go through more and more treatment for me it's just not a, it's not an option. It's not an, it's not an option for me. Um, for reasons I won't get into right now, but 
no that's just not something that i'm willing to put myself through again voluntarily because i feel like if you are a healthcare provider and you haven't been through the things that you're treating your patient for it's hard for you to understand the ramifications and the impact that that treatment has for example with me i went through trauma therapy so that means me retelling and reliving these horrible things that i've had to go through me having to jump back into the way i felt about myself back then the feelings that i felt back then the shame the guilt just the feeling as low as you can possibly feel and then after this maybe hour hour and a half long session sometimes not even that you're like all right you're good to go go ahead go back to work and i'm like so now I look like shit because my face is all messed up because I've been crying. My eyes are all red and poofy. I'm not in the mood to deal with anybody right now at all. At all. I gotta sit in my car literally just to kind of balance out whatever the hell it is going on with me. Kind of give myself a pep talk so I can go back into work and deal with these people after you done sent me through this goddamn trauma. I'm not... Me, personally, I just don't want to do it again. So I don't think they really understand what that means when they're like, oh, well, we can just send you through the treatment again. Yeah, it's easy for you to say that. But mentally, when I heard you when I heard that for the first time, I almost broke down in tears because I'm like, ain't no fucking way I'm doing that again. There is no way I'm sending myself through that again. And on top of that, it was months. They acting like me going through treatment again is going to be, oh, it's going to be a few weeks. No. I was in treatment for months. I was actually still in treatment, but things had gotten too stressful for me. So they kind of kicked me out of treatment so I can get into stress management so I can learn how to manage my stress. And then I have to go back into treatment. So you're talking about sending me through something that I haven't even, like, no. No. I'm not a fan, so I won't be doing it again. So that's kind of where I'm at. That's my mentality right now. And um, yeah, yeah, that's, that's it. I'm just on the way out. So with the med board being off the table, I decided that I'm gonna just go ahead and try to go for a chapter. Um, I did ask about how that process will work. I was told that because of the medical conditions that I do have, physical and mental, I won't qualify for a chapter. I would have to be referred up to a med board, which still doesn't make sense to me because if that's the case, why don't you just send me up so I can be on my way out? But I'm still gonna see. I'm still gonna try for the chapter. Um, I'm gonna talk to somebody about it Monday just to kind of see how the whole process is and if it's even something that's viable for me all i know is i need to get out that's it i don't care about any of the little things that anybody's been saying to me or you're almost there you've been here for over seven years i don't care at this point not only am i sick because of being in the military i don't have my family because of the military and there's there's just things i've already sacrificed my mental health my physical health and now my family what more do you want from me like come on just let me out just let me out so yeah but let me go ahead and go before i get in my mind i'm going to go ahead and go because these nails need to be done these toes need to be done and i need to go and spend some unnecessary money let's go Y'all, I just got from Starbucks. I ended up getting my usual, my chai tea latte, and I got um, a double smoked bacon sandwich without cheese. Y'all, the line at Starbucks was so long. I don't know what was going on, but it was fine. I was just scrolling on my phone anyway. But I just had to pull over to Walmart because y'all, my lips are so dry. I forgot my chapstick, I forgot my lip gloss, I forgot my aquaphor. Everything that you need, anything that you would need to be able to put on your lips, I don't have in this car so i just stopped at walmart the thing is right across the street from the starbucks i'm about to go ahead and run in there real quick hopefully grab some lip gloss because i'm honestly wanting some lip gloss and then head to the nail salon because the place that i found is about 30 minutes from me i'm watching true crime but um yeah it's about 30 minutes from me so i'm trying to hurry up and get on a road so i can get over there because we already know it's about to take an hour or so to actually do my nails and stuff so i'll see y'all in a bit so i just pulled up to the nail salon and i just threw on my cole han purse so i can at least carry like my keys and my wallet and stuff like that but i completely forgot to 
figure out what I want my nails to look like. This is the issue for me. I always wait until the very last minute. One second. I'm so sorry, y'all. Every single time I open up Pinterest there, I get distracted. Like, I love Pinterest. And so, I just got on and I saw this bomb-ass meal. So, I had to save it in my food ideas thing. And then, I saw something else um, that I'm not going to show y'all because it's a... Yeah. Anyway, but yeah. Every single time I open this up, there's something that I'm like, okay, I'm going to go down a rabbit hole. So, I'm trying not to do that. But then it's like, I don't want to get off this page because there's a lot of stuff here that I want to look at and like save. But fine, we'll just sacrifice it for now. But hold on, hold on, hold on. See, I'm still doing it. Never mind. Nails. Where is my nails folder thing? Okay. I gotta go to the bathroom. It's crazy because I have my nail in one and. It's not like there's much in there anyway. And all of them are pretty much the same, just different. But you know, I'm in the military, so there's not like there's much I'm able to do. I think I'm gonna do white on my toes. And then for my fingers, thinking I want this color. Can you see that? It's like a mauve pink color so I'm thinking that so yeah I think that's what we're gonna go with and okay let me go in here I got a potty <sighs> y'all I caved I caved and I went and got my freaking lashes done I'm looking so extra bright in this camera can I turn that down no mm. anyway I caved and I got my lashes done. And I don't know if I like them. Mm. They're not bad. Like last time, I felt like they were so much worse. But these are fine. These will do. Yeah, these are fine. They're not like super clustered up and stuff like that. But my freaking brows. At this point, I just need to stop doing stuff and stop letting people, you know, touch my face and do stuff because I, she asked me about getting my brows tinted. And I'm like, oh yeah, okay, that's cool. I specifically said, I don't want you to touch here. Y'all know like this area here. I'm like, I don't want you to touch here, but I don't mind if this over here is shaved in be well shaded in because y'all know I have botched micro shading on my eyebrows from years and years ago. It was supposed to have been semi permanent. It has yet to all fully go anywhere. And so um yeah, I just wanted this over here because the way it it is now, I guess some of it faded, so it's just like the center is really light and I don't like it. Y'all, I look in that damn mirror. This shit was so dark. Like, I'm talking ridiculously dark. And it's crazy because as, I, as I'm wiping, like, I, first of all, I've been sitting in the car for like the past 10 minutes scrubbing my eyebrow to get like most of it off because I'm like, ain't no way in hell you about to have me walking around looking goofy as fuck at work like that. So... And then she, the, she cut my my she cut my brows too, so like I have like a bot. You know what? She's a sweetheart, and I'm pretty sure people with actual eyebrows look amazing when she's done with them. Maybe, but me not so much. I already don't have I don't have eyebrows and lashes and stuff like that naturally. They're very very very. Thin on top of being very, very, very fine and very, very, very few. So you can't be doing all that with me. Oh my God, what am I gonna do? I look like a, f okay, all right. Let me just brush this down and see what she's done. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm. Mm, mm. All right, okay, all right. I guess I gotta deal with this for the next month because my brows don't grow back like that. It takes about a month for them to grow back. Now I know this is just not the place for me. 
I gave them a chance. I just gave them another chance today. It's just not the place for me. I feel like they did my... I feel like they they did my nails okay. Well, it was a guy that did my nails. I feel like he did okay. But they still look wet, like super bulby and thick. And I just don't like that. So you know what? It's okay. I spent my hard earned money to look like shit today. And that's my own fault. But yeah, gotta put some lotion on these ashy hands. And I'm thinking I'm gonna check and see if this um this Jamaican spot is open because I kinda want some oxtail tonight. I like the way this lotion feels. So yeah, I think what I'm about to do now, I'm about to see if there's anything else that I can do today that I actually wanted to do, um, which I doubt it. I'm pretty sure everything is close enough now. But then I'm gonna go home and check on my classes, check on the schools that I've applied to because y'all, I am in the process of looking for a nursing school. Yes, I decided that I'm gonna go ahead, you know what? Y'all, hold on, why are my hands so dry? Um, there's that aqua form, I'm just use that. I've decided that I am going to go ahead and try to get into school and finish up my RN. At least, at the very least, my associates I wanna get um, while I'm still in. Um, and then, obviously, go for my bachelor's a little bit later on. So I'll probably take you guys along with me on my journey to become a nurse because y'all being active duty i should one well, i should have already had my nursing degree i have all the credits and stuff and honestly i just been sitting on them because the last portion i need to do clinical so i need to go in person and i need to find a school that allow me to go to school online while finding somewhere to do my clinicals in person but it's harder than one would think what the fuck <laughs> my face is breaking out it's harder than one would think and um the one that i the school that i got into no i got into a program when i was last here at bragg well liberty now but i got into a program and i was super excited only thing is i wasn't able to push my school date back because you know school was going to be starting that fall and um my school day for respiratory therapy. I wasn't able to push that back. So I had to drop my seat. Um, and now I'm in the process of trying to reapply for that school again. And hopefully with me being a respiratory therapist now, um, that makes it easier. That makes me a little bit more competitive. And on top of that, I am studying again to take to retake the TMC because I do want to get my um, RRT. I do want to get my um, my license certifications whatever the case may be and this been yeah it's it's been eventful it's not eventful but it's been hard it's been it's been really hard trying to relearn all of the information and stuff that i was taught so i'm just honestly in that process which is fine i can't wait to get it i feel like i'm gonna feel fulfilled when i get it as far as my job right now as a respiratory therapist um, because I'm in an army and I'm working in an army hospital, I'm able to practice without my licensure. I, I know what I'm doing for the most part. There's just some stuff that I still need to brush up on and relearn and stuff like that, which is perfectly fine. Um, my staff and everything, my NCO, everybody's been working with me, but I do want to get it because is I, I feel like I do more than I thought I would be able to do not having my license or not really knowing what I'm doing. So my goal is to get that and then work on shift work on the floors and stuff like that. You know, get an understanding of what it is that I'm doing. Cause like I said, yesterday I went to an emergency call. They said trauma scene to the trauma room where we jumped up and we weren't running. That's why I wanted to do this. This is why I wanted to do RT is to be on those type of calls. So that was super exciting for me. And at some point I kind of want to work my way up to the NICU because ultimately I do want to be a NICU nurse. I've made up my mind. 
And I feel like, you know, if I can work as an RT in the NICU and kind of get that um, experience, I would be better equipped to be able to work there once my time comes and I can go there. So yeah, that's pretty much, that's pretty much what I'm up to right now. But y'all, my husband is texting me. So let me go ahead and um, give him a collie and show him my nails and express my dismay about my freaking brows. I got some food from Chili's. I got a burger and I have a roasted street corn. But let me show y'all something because as I told y'all, your girl got an eating disorder, right? So I don't know how anybody else do it, but for me, when I am in a state of not being stable, I have to eat a certain way. So here's this burger and I have a habit of overeating. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut this burger in half. Actually, hold on, cause I feel like, okay, no, I thought it was tomatoes on it, but I'm gonna cut this burger in half. This half I'm gonna put away because if it's out of sight, it's out of mind and I don't have the urge to overeat. And then this is the half that I eat. So I just put this half away. And I'm gonna be completely honest, even sometimes this is too much. So basically this is kind of like a trial run of me trying to get myself better again. And sometimes, I mean, it's a fight. It usually takes me a few months, but I'm usually able to figure out what's triggering, triggering me, figure out why I'm so stressed out, fix that, and then I'm good. But sometimes even this is too much. So this is honestly a trial run because I've been eating the same thing every single day. Two hash browns in the morning, a small orange juice. I don't even finish the orange juice because there's just too much on my stomach. I go throughout my day. I try not to eat because I'm risking throwing myself into a cycle. When I do get home, I make a bacon and egg sandwich. And that's pretty much it. That's it. I'll probably drink it with one of my water. I eat that with one of my waters and that's about it. So this is kind of like a trial run of trying to introduce myself back to food. So if this ends up being too much for me, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just start cutting it in half this way as well. And I'm just gonna start with this part. The corn is never really an issue for me. It's all of this and that's not even a lot. So welcome to my life. <laughs> But I'm going to see y'all in a little bit.
Hey y'all, what's up? It is a little bit later. Actually, it's a lot later. It is 1933. It's 1933 and it's getting dark outside, obviously. So it's honestly time for me to get ready for work tomorrow because the weekend is over. The weekend is over and um yeah i won't lie i feel like i didn't get much done today because the one thing that i really wanted to do was do a little bit of yard work um the front of the yard my lips are so dry i'm sorry y'all every time i come on here i'm talking about how my lips are dry and i need to find a little um screwdriver like the glasses for the eyeglasses because the screw on my camera is getting really loose once again oh my gosh mm, my lips are always so dry probably because I'm always dehydrated hmm. so I was attempting earlier to actually apply for a few of the schools so there's four schools that I'm applying for and I was trying to kind of organize my applications and stuff like that that way when the application um, window open I can just throw in as much stuff as I can throw in the program that I'm wanting to do is an LP into RN program just to kind of alleviate myself from doing any type of extra courses that I just don't need to do so there's a bunch of different criteria, a bunch of different phases all this all this stuff two of the schools honestly i'm gonna to have to choose between the two whether or not um which one i want to go to i guess i don't know how to put it because with the t's right so i have to take the t's for two of them i've already taken the t's so for the scores that i need for two of the schools I already meet those qualifications but then for two of the newer schools that I haven't applied to yet, um, I'm probably confusing the hell out of y'all. Let's back up. So when I was last here in Fort Bragg, I applied to two schools. And one of them I got accepted into, I got a slot <clears throat> because I changed my job to a respiratory therapist and I went to Texas. I had to drop my slot. And now that I'm back, I know I meet the qualifications. Y'all, my throat. <clears> throat> I know I meet the qualifications for that specific school and then I also meet the quali the qualifications for another one of the schools that I'm applying to. So that's kind of out of the way. I'm, I, I know I meet those qualifications. But again, I want to apply for at least four schools to better my chances of getting accepted somewhere just in case those two schools that I know I meet the requirements, they don't accept me. So the two other schools though, I have to retake the T's only because even though my score meets the requirements i have to retake it because you have to take it at those schools so i'm thinking i'm going to choose between the two i'm going to call try to call anyway and ask a few questions but you have to choose between the two so i'm going to either have to if i want to apply to both of the schools that means if i do pass the first phase of both of these schools i'm going to have to take the t's twice which don't make sense because this school specifically wants me to sit and take it at this school, but this school requirement is for me to specifically sit and take it at this school as well. So it's just not making sense to me and I don't understand why they even have that requirement knowing people will be trying to apply to multiple different schools. So that's really frustrating trying to navigate around, especially when it comes to trying to get in contact with a lot of these schools because it's a special lies department that they don't answer the phone you have to send emails and all that other unnecessary nonsense so i'm dealing with that right now but um yeah the the sign in and stuff that i already have for the two schools that i already applied to isn't working so i wasn't able to apply to any of those the deadlines for two of the schools is between the uh october 1st and um january 31st and i'm just trying to hurry up so that was kind of frustrating i really didn't get much done because it was raining outside so i couldn't do the yard work and stuff that i wanted to do and so i'm going to clean a little bit because i won't even lie i was kind of living like a slob today because y'all i got like all kinds of energy drinks okay this one's full i was about to say i know i didn't drink all this I'm going to finish it tonight though but I have the energy drinks I have like gushers and stuff laying all over the place I have like water bottles and stuff all over the floor and don't get me started on what the kitchen looks like once again so I'm about to go ahead and clean just a little bit and then kind of get ready for my day tomorrow because I need to one i want to try my scrubs because y'all know i've already had my scrubs from my last side job that i had when i was last here on fort bragg but um 
because I'm thinking I want to start wearing my own scrubs to work okay I want to have like a little bit of dignity about myself because those scrubs in the hospital they're not gonna cut it um so I need to get ready for work tomorrow but I also I also need to get ready for the gym tomorrow because y'all I pay for a off post gym membership because I like the fact that the gym that I go to, it has the all women's section. And it's just, you know, it's just comfortable to go to. It's nice to actually, you know, leave posts, go off posts and like, it's, it feels nice being in the civilian world, okay? That's how I'm gonna put it. It feels nice being in the civilian world, especially with that having an all women's section so I don't feel intimidated or anything like that, going to the gym without Trey, obviously. Um, but it's been, three weeks since i've been to the gym the first week i was just really really tired the second week i was dealing with like household goods and getting into work and stuff like that this past oh voice cracking this past week i was just just way too weak and way too lightheaded to even consider working out i've been a win in there and like murdered myself and i think this is the week where i need to get off my ass and actually like do something i need to really jump back into life i've been in a nice little depressive you know sunken place for the past few weeks but it's time to really jump back into my life and i'm trying to do that tomorrow um i don't know how it's gonna go because my um workout split i'm i guess what i'm gonna have to do is kind of just jump back into that i might as well stick to what i already have the plan that i already have i'm just gonna have to go down and wait i'm pretty sure because I've been out I've been out for a while um so with that comes me packing up my little pre-workout snacks and stuff like that so that's also what I'm gonna do I'm about to refill my water bottles um get my snacks and stuff together and just you know just let's let's see where this goes but let me go ahead and start doing all of this stuff and then I'll probably come on hopefully I actually remember to close out this vlog because it's just coming to an end but hopefully I remember to close it out because I don't know if y'all noticed but lately I just been letting it in because I will forget to film an outro but all right let me get up let me stop playing because I'm gonna sit and talk to y'all and never get anything done Take 
take away, take away. She taking the clothes off, off her right in love with her body. I'm a tippy, goddamn, I'm a dick that I know that she got me. Oh, I love it, I love it, the way you clap back when you move. Ain't nobody in here with that body, nobody but you. So it's about an hour or so later, hour and a half-ish later, and I cleaned the kitchen. I just got out the shower and it's freezing in here. I forgot to turn the heat back on because it's gonna be way too cold for me to sleep. Heat on. And like I said, oh! <laughs> I'm being attacked in my own home. Look at this, look at this crazy. You do. <laughs> Every time I hit a corner, she's right there acting like she's a wild animal, pouncing on me. Anyway, y'all know I have to go upstairs and I gotta change both modes, upstairs and down. They have to be the same. I'm gonna turn this light off. Ooh. I am so tired. All right, so yeah, I got out the shower, cleaned and everything like that, and I'm honestly about to go ahead and go to bed. I was thinking about trying to look for more schools, which I might end up doing that. I wanted to take an Ambien so I can go to sleep. <sighs> I'm out of breath. I wanted to try to take an Ambien so I can go to sleep, but I feel like it's too late. Let me see. Ooh, what I wake up in time? No, I should be able to take one. So I'm going to go ahead and take an Ambien real quick. Hopefully that kicks in so I can actually get to sleep tonight because y'all, I just be, mm, I cannot get to sleep. Like last night, even with me taking an Ambien, I still didn't go to sleep until about, it was like, it was definitely past five o'clock because my alarm went off and my alarm usually goes off at 5.30. So it was definitely past 5.30. And y'all, I went to sleep and I still woke up. It was like around eight o'clock, like, well, 8.30. So y'all, my sleep has been non-existent these days. Anywho, anywho, y'all, I had a mini little breakdown earlier and honestly, it's my eating. I'm gonna be completely honest. I'm pretty sure that's what it comes down to because what was frustrating is I'm sitting there trying to clean, right? and for whatever reason i could not like i was doing so good at first though because at that point i was cleaning for a good while you know listening to my rod wave you know what i'm saying um so i was cleaning for a little while and out of nowhere i was just stressing i was really just stressing out of nowhere and i think i was still thinking about like the schools and stuff like that because i was really supposed to be able to apply and throw my applications in this um before the weekend was over because i mean going into the work week i work monday through friday and with the time differences like between here and um like between here and arizona which that's one of the schools because it's online like it's it's just a bunch of stuff that went into that so it's a lot of times when i'm just thinking way too hard about something and I just can't, I can't figure it out. I can't figure out what it is that I'm even trying to figure out. What am I even thinking about? Like, I know it don't make sense when I'm ex trying to explain it because I'm not making sense to myself right now. But it's like, I get so overwhelmed to the point where my brain is like, it just starts glitching. So I'm sitting there and I'm cleaning and next thing you know, I'm just like, okay, what am I doing right now? Cause I feel like I'm just moving one thing from one place to another from here. Like it just wasn't making sense. And then I started getting overwhelmed with that because I'm like, oh my goodness, okay, yeah, that's cool and all. I'm doing all this cleaning, but everything else that I still have to do. So naturally when I'm overwhelmed for whatever reason, and it just do not make sense to me, my brain automatically goes to just eat. That's what it goes to. 
it goes to just eat. Like, I don't know what it is. It's not like, is that a comfort thing for me? But it's weird because it's something that I can't, it's not something that I choose to do. That's what, that's, that's the hard part. That's the hard part. Getting people to understand that that trigger that's like, okay, yep, time to eat, time to eat. That's not something that I choose to do. Y'all, there be plenty of times where I'm sitting over here behind this couch on the floor or even before, what is this? Even before the couch came, I will be sitting on the floor and I will be so stressed out and I will be, all my brain wants to do is go in that refrigerator and see what's in there. And I be trying my hardest to like think about anything else. I'm like, okay, you don't need to eat anything right now. You're not even hungry. So what else can I do right now? besides go in the refrigerator and eat every single thing that's in there oh i guess there's a shadow um eat every single thing that's in there and it's frustrating because i can never figure it out and then ultimately i end up in a binge purge cycle so tonight i was just so irritated because i'm like here i am i have to get ready for work i don't have time for this i don't have time to throw myself in a binge purge cycle because i'm telling y'all if you know anybody who has an eating disorder bulimia specifically that shit can last for hours like once you get in it and you're like stuck it's like back and forth back and forth back and forth and so i'm like frustrated and i'm sitting there and i'm just like there's no way so this this isn't the first time something like this has happened and that's honestly why i don't keep food in the refrigerator so basically what i just did is that was about a good 150 dollars worth of food that I just threw in the trash can and I pulled the trash can outside because I know this is probably so what I do is when I know there's nothing stopping me right I throw all the food away I think the only thing I have in there is my grapes a lot of stuff to drink because I'm usually really thirsty anyway but that that's never really an issue um sometimes it can be though but I have my grapes in there I have some gushers because people we i don't know we we like candy we like sweet stuff um what else is in there and some pecans pecans yeah and i think i still have some strawberries in there and some apples that's about it so that's the only thing that's in there because like if there's anything else in a refrigerator like like foodie type of food it's getting binged like I'm i'm going to binge on it um, it don't it, it doesn't even matter if I have to stand at the stove and actually cook something I'm gonna cook not only am I gonna cook I'm gonna cook a shit ton because I'm like I just want to do like I want to do it right now like it's an urge it's something in my brain telling me so yeah what I did is I got the food I threw it in the trash can the trash can was in the garage so I had to put the garage the trash can was in the garage so i had to pull the trash can out to the curb because i know this is probably disgusting to y'all especially if you don't know anybody that go through something like this or you've never experienced it experienced it yourself but i i have gone in a trash can before when i run out of food to binge because i would spend so much money y'all i spend so much money on food that's where a majority of my money go and it's crazy it is insane and i am ashamed and it pisses me off because then i'm looking at it i'm like okay at the end of the month i'm needing money and it's gone because i binged it i binged on it all and it's a waste it's a complete waste but when i run out of food i've been known to go in the garbage can and i'll get food and so i just put everything out like when i'm feeling the way i'm feeling i just throw everything out and i don't have food in the fridge in the refrigerator i don't really have food in the house or anything like that so yeah, that's kind of where my night went, which is is not bad because that's actually a step in the right direction because usually, um, like I said, I'm trying to heal myself up and I'll kind of give in to it. So this is actually, even though it's really frustrating, this is actually a step in the right direction. And in my head, I'm like talking to myself out of like going to the gym and stuff tomorrow, but I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I actually should have packed the bag. No, I don't need to. I should be off early enough to be traffic and stuff like that. But I was like talking myself out of it. I'm like, no, because I don't even want to do this anymore. And I don't even care. But no, I'm going to go to the gym and do all the things that I wanted to do tomorrow. Like I said, I was going to do. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. It's frustrating, though. It's frustrating that uh, I have to go to work tomorrow. So. 
I don't know. I was able to finish cleaning and stuff like that though. Like I was able to sit there with myself for a second and just like really think. Cause sometimes when I'm just like, I'll have to go to my phone, right? When I'm like that and I'm like, I need something else to focus my mind. I need somewhere else to focus my energy because right now cleaning isn't keeping my focus the way I need it to keep my focus right now. So I'll go to my to-do list and I have a shit ton of to-do lists. So I'll go to one of my to-do lists and I'll like just find like a chore or find like an in one thing that I have to do and I'll kind of focus my energy on that and that kinds of that kind of bring me back where I need to be. Trey ended up texting me, so that was helping too. Um I just wish he was here. I just miss him so much. Like through this entire process, he has been so helpful and he don't even know it honestly and if he watched this he's probably going to talk to me about it um but yeah it's like going through what i'm going through to me is so shameful i'm still embarrassed i'm opening up about it now because i'm realizing or i'm finally getting to understand it because i know it's not something to be embarrassed about but i i still am you know and so um, even though I'm getting to a point where I understand that it's not something that I should be embarrassed about, I feel like my embarrassment come from not really understanding it and like kind of the treatment and stuff that I've gotten for it in the past because I, I was constantly told back then like this is a this is a disorder eating disorder bulimia this is something teenagers have or this is something you have when you want to lose weight or you care too much about what you look like and for me that's just not the case. For me, that's not the case. And I was never able to get my behavioral health people to understand that fact. And so I stopped getting help for it. And I would try to figure it out through my nutritionist because they understood a little bit more. And, um, Yeah, I would just kind of heal myself the way I'm trying to do right now. But with him being there, it's like I would get so tired of like sneaking away to throw up. I would get tired of like having to make sure I really clean the, the freaking toilet so he don't see anything that's there i get tired of you know hiding the fact that i'm stacking so much food on my plate because i want to you know binge or my mind is telling me to binge rather um he'll eat downstairs i'll eat upstairs because i don't eat around anybody and stuff like that so i just get sick of it and with him being there because he's always there which is so nice i i just don't you know i I think about it a little bit more like okay this is going to be a hassle to hide this so I'm going to have to work harder on myself so I'm not doing that and then on top of that because he knows that I have an eating disorder that's the thing he knows that I go through this um I haven't really talked about it to him in detail because again embarrassed but um I have noticed when he notices that I'm having an especially hard time he'll do something like let's go on a walk or you should take you scale for a walk or you know what maybe you should go upstairs and take a nap or you know what maybe you should go get starbucks or something like that or whatever so it's really nice having him around and just it's just hard not having him but um i think that is it for this weekend i don't even know this i'm i'm sorry i know this vlog was probably very dumb and very pointless i'm going to try to edit it and put it up anyway though but I hope y'all kind of liked at least a part of it, at least some of it, but I'm going to see y'all in the next one. I'm thinking I might just start a vlog tomorrow um, to kind of follow, like follow my week. So kind of a before this vlog right here, there's going to be like a PCS vlog, then my weekend vlog, and then I'm thinking I'm going to do a um, weekend life or whatever case may be, like a weekly vlog or something like that. But I'm going to see y'all later in my next video bye all you wanna do is gas me how we end up in the back seat just trying to get to the bag we on the same page you the same way only keep the fam around me so let me know what it's gonna be i don't plan on getting no sleep why are we doing nothing moving too fast candy paint with the windows all black seats turn roulette